Ooh, sliced off his backpack, though. I mean, this is good, though. This is going to force him to learn real quick. There we go. That's what I'm saying. Awesome. All right, what's up, everybody? We are back for the third episode of Solo Leveling. Yeah, so last episode was actually called If I Had Another Chance, right? Which I looked back upon that title and I realized, like, well, conveniently, I feel like you are going to get another chance, Jinwoo. Um, but what is it about? That's still the big question that I ask myself. A little pop-up sort of appeared on screen, right? Telling him, like, oh, do you want to take part in... I don't know exactly how they worded it anymore, but it made it seem very video gamey and of course i've already explained that there are generally a lot of video game elements that are showing in this universe itself already when they talk about you know crafting the equipment and stuff right and how they use the magic gems for all that uh, obviously the whole concept of these portals appearing with the fantasy monsters and stuff and how um how did they explain it again like if they don't take care i think of the monsters in a certain portal then eventually when the time limit is up you know, it, it, it happens vice versa, like the monsters start entering their world, right? Like the real world. And so all these concepts are absolutely awesome and I'm just, you know, in love with it already. But like I said, the big question is what happens to Jin Wu now? Because he literally seemed to get annihilated there on the altar, right? Um, not only had some of his limbs cut off, but yeah, uh, you know, like a final strike happened. And that's where, you know, those messages started popping up. So... What is his, I guess, ability going to be? I, I think that's the direction I'm supposed to think in. You know, of course, I myself wondered if he'd be perhaps transported to a whole different world or something. But uh, judging by, you know, some of, the, some of the comments that I received, they indicated like, yeah, don't think in that direction. So, you know, they talk about, of course, all these hunters and they call them the Awakened, I think it was, right? Now, the interesting thing about the Awakened, from what I've understood, is that apparently once you go through your Awakening, whatever that even is, because I still can't quite grasp the concept, uh, once you turn into a Hunter, you become one of the Awakened, you get your rank assigned, and you'll have your abilities, apparently, too. And from what I understood that people told me, it's like, oh, you're not supposed to ever be able to level up, interestingly enough. Now, the show, of course, is called Solo Leveling. So I'm guessing that maybe Jin Wu is going to... Uh, end up being the only exception to the rule and he'll be able be able you know to actually level up he'll be able to take over or take on completely new abilities and yeah the question then becomes what kind of ability is he going to be getting we've seen some people in the world of course use particular yeah abilities that seemed a little bit supernatural right but at the same time a lot of them also just use kind of regular gear and so um, I'm still, you know, trying to come to terms, I guess, or, or I'm still trying to grip what this universe really is, I guess, right? Uh, that being said, it does look like most of the people who made it through that door, yeah, I think they're all supposed to have made it out. Um, again, the big question remains, what actually happened to Jin Wu? How is he going to be able to be revived, essentially? How is he going to be put back into this world, uh, you know, assuming that he does, right? And um, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to find, finding out about. So with that being said, guys, we're going to dive into episode three of Solo Leveling. Of course, if you enjoy my reactions, you'll be able to get the full length reactions over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Over there, you can also request me to react to your favorite show. So go and check it out. And for now, let's just dive into episode three. Holy shit, man. Dude, that face alone. If I had one more chance, is that what you're going to be saying? Yep, right, right as he was struck. Exactly. Congratulations on becoming what? I literally just couldn't read the final word. That, that happened in a split second. Hospital. How did he just wake up here suddenly? That's crazy. Yes, yeah, limbs are intact. No, he's completely revived. And I'm guessing it wasn't Joe he's doing. And I'm, I'm guessing it wasn't a dream either. But the government is probably involved in some kind of way, huh? <laughs> they brought you here, my guy. Song Chiyo lost an arm? 
He might choose to retire. Damn. I mean, yeah, I don't think you're really combat ready anymore after that. Severe psychological shock. She was the one who ran, right? Yeah. Oh my god, the titan smile. Oh my Their own team, okay. The White Tiger Guild. They only found you lying there, okay. No traces of any temples or statues. Well, we definitely were in one. Have you experienced the reawakening? <laughs> I think he did, but I think he can't remember it. Okay, well, maybe he does, actually. A hunt's ability is set at the time of awakening and will not change in our lifetime. Well, that's why... Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's known to happen, though. Interesting, he's not the only one. Magic power detector. Oh, this is going to be able to tell. Well, clearly that's what actually occurred then. Score 10. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the max. Oh, it's denying it? <laughs> nah, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Okay. This is crazy because they seem so on the nose. I mean, I think they are still on the nose, don't get me wrong, but somehow the thing is not detecting it. Oh. Nah, dude, this is just like the game screen, or like the pop-up that we saw. He's just seeing this, huh? Dude, is this fucking virtual reality? What the hell is going on? The secret quest, Courage of the Week, yeah, that's what they called it. You're a player? That's what it's asking. I think we saw that last episode already, though. <laughs> he had 0.02 seconds. Like, that's even giving him a choice. Okay, his sister's back. Wow. <laughs> so much for being the one looking out for her sister. She sees nothing. Unread messages in games. Yeah, usually if you, you know, play RPGs and stuff. Like, he doesn't know how to touch it now. <laughs> this is crazy. He needs to press a button. The biggest struggle he's ever faced. Strength training has arrived. System is designed to assist the development of the player. Failure to comply with the system may result in a penalty. The rewards have been delivered. He's seeing four of them right now. Oh yeah, that's what this episode is called, right? It's like a game. Oh shit. Failure, failure will result in a penalty. What though? Is he gonna feel pain or something, or...? You better do those 100 push-ups then. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna turn into a cold case though. I don't think they're, they're gonna be... Yeah, well they're probably gonna be investigating this later. Hold off for now because it's too... There's just no answers. Immediate answers right now. Okay. Is she the same character we saw in episode one? I know Mr. Choi here, but... The moment that is approaching. What are you teasing right now? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I love how they've already, you know, put some, like, boarding around it. 
you better start entering that thing, get rid of it, huh? I guess that's the way we do get rid of it, right? Like, we, we're just supposed to enter it and take care of whatever's in there. My man, you... He didn't listen to his first fucking task of doing a couple push-ups. I mean, it was like 100, which is pretty crazy if you don't do them daily, but... Especially with good technique. And he's in a desert now. It's like combat training. Have fun getting eaten by some kind of crazy red ant that's even bigger than the ones we saw in the first episode. Survive four hours. That's your penalty? But what if he fails that? I thought it was about just making him experience suffering <laughs> by, you know, dying. He's gone. Interesting. So he literally gets teleported too, physically. survive two two whoa we already did two hours okay we had a little time jumper <laughs> oh man oh shit wow he's making it through this pretty damn oh god he got so close still last minute <laughs> last second rather and we're back what if they would have spotted him that would have been crazy uh, uh. So, is this truly different from the people that experience these second reawakenings? Like, I I'm guessing they don't have any of this going on, right? My man was truly selected, as they worded it. This is Joey, right? Yeah, I think it is. They want her helping out the other hunters with the, yeah, okay, with the portal that appeared on the highway. Okay. She's got her priorities, though. Now you can finally go on that pizza date still, I guess. <laughs> I don't think that's because of like inner motivation though <laughs> I think he got a new task yep 10 kilometers okay oh wow oh that's awesome I need that thing, man. Ability points. He can assign him himself, I guess, right? Oh, dude, it's like a, it's like a Souls game. I was thinking of like a selection screen where you can pick your special skill, but it's just assigning points to a certain ability. No shit. Okay. What's in the box? A key. Instance dungeon. Instance dungeon. That's what the key is for, I guess, huh? Yeah, he keeps... Yeah, you don't want to re-experience that, though, but... Dude, I love this. They, they literally report it on the news and stuff. Oh, back to the mom. Yeah, if only she could be granted the ability to become a player. Four years ago, is that when it happened? Stuff went wrong with her? Damn. First time she fell, I guess. Oh, it's like a gate-induced comatose, I guess, huh? So he used to work in construction like before that? And then he made this choice? Yeah, I see. He did it all he did it all literally for his mom and for his sister. That's what he mentioned in the first episode. I like that personal angle, but it just sucked to see how weak he was still, right? Then again, that's finally changing. 
Run with all my might. Could he apply points to that too? Running speed? That'd be cool. Here we go. The key is literally to enter it. Wow. It's so interesting because it's like a secret portal nobody can see, huh? Oh, it's turning the station into some... Okay. Virtual arena, I guess? Fucking awesome, man. You have entered this instance. Yeah, dungeon. Perfect title for this episode. It's like a game. She's just, she's just walking. She's not seeing a damn thing. Yep. Yeah, normal dungeons literally... Teleportation stone. Uh-huh. Something tells me it's gonna be a little bit more... Well, you stand a bit more of a chance for once. I mean, what happens if he dies now? You get what I'm saying? Like... That's what I question, you know? Can he even die at this point anymore? Is he keep... Is he gonna keep getting brought back? I mean, if it really was a second awakening, nonetheless... Goblins, yeah, okay. They did say that that happens rarely, and yeah, I guess there's never a third, so... In that case, he could... Still truly risk dying, right? He's just gonna level up, that's the difference. <laughs> those are not the... Those are not the best evasive uh, moves yet, though. <laughs> He's like, struggling to... Bad, even just stay up here. Ooh, sliced off his backpack, though. I mean, this is good, though. This is gonna force him to learn real quick. There we go. That's what I'm saying. Awesome. Sometimes the only way to learn is like this. In practice. Being confronted with a situation where you can't go back. Wow. Awesome. Damn! What the fuck is this? It's like a red fox. Kinda. Broke his... Oh, dude. Wow! He's got a fucking steel jaw. Lycan. Steel fang lycan. <laughs> That's what happens. Damn. Yeah, I'm guessing he doesn't. He still wouldn't get another chance though, right? That's the big question that I ask myself now. If It's like... Damn. I guess we're going to see it next episode. Oh huh? yeah, I see. Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course you can get the full length reactions over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. You can also, by the way, request me to react to your favorite shows over there, so I'll see you there. Yeah, because basically the big question that I ask myself is like, all these other hunters that have gone through, you know, their second awakening as they worded it, right? Like, did they also get a similar opportunity presented to them? I'm guessing not, right? I'm guessing this is the way in which Jin Wu stands out compared to all of them. But I could be wrong about that, you know? Like, I, I truly wonder, because of course this association came to Jin Wu, presented him with the magic stone or what did they call it, that's supposed to like scan whether he's gone through a second awakening, and they couldn't even tell that he did. So... You know, again, like, like, has he actually gone through a second awakening? I would think so, because I would simply think that, um, uh, that he wouldn't, you know, like, he, he, 
he's not going to be invincible now. You get what I'm saying? Like, he's not going to be able to, to die and come back. Because otherwise, there would be no real risk anymore in the show for his character. And it, it, I guess it would be, be just kind of boring. You get what I'm saying? Like, if we know that this character is invincible and is always going to make it out. Like, he still has to now make sure that he wins all these battles and that he upgrades himself. And there's, there's truly something to aspire for, right? And that's only a viable thing if death is still a risk, if you get what I'm saying. So this is, um, you know, just kind of, yeah, again, the big question I ask myself is like, what's the difference between what Jin Wu just went through and all the other people that go through their second awakenings? Because I feel like technically they've both gone through second awakenings, but probably I'm going to assume that Jin Wu is the only one who somehow got these video game abilities suddenly and uh, was given this, yeah, this opportunity to, um, you know, to to become a player, right? But um, yeah, that being said, I mean, you know, this was a great episode, honestly. Again, I, I largely just asked myself then what the what the deal with it is. Of course, we do get a couple of, um, you know, characters coming back like Mr. Choi that we saw once again, right? Still got to kind of figure out what the deal is going to be with the government and how they'll get involved into all of this, I guess. Uh, it's it's funny how Jin Wu gets these sort of daily challenges, which, yeah, everything about this reminded me of a video game, but um, it's so typical, you know, when you play any kind of online game, you know, like, whether it's like a, a card game like Hearthstone, which I've played, or, um, you know, some type of uh, first-person shooter like Destiny, I guess, right? Or like, like all of them will have these daily challenges for you to complete, and that's just kind of what it reminded me of uh, with Jin Wu here too. If he doesn't do it, he's like confronted with a, yeah, with the kind of situation that I guess he wouldn't want to be confronted with, right? But um, even now, I guess we'll have to wait and see whether he makes it, yeah, through this uh, special type of, of dungeon now that's different from all the other ones. Um, great episode, honestly, super fun. I'm, I'm loving the direction it's going in. I've been hearing a lot of people say that, like, just wait, because it's going to get even better and better and better as you progress. Like, the first couple episodes don't even stand out much uh, compared to what's coming later on, so... I'm excited, man. I look forward to seeing where we go from here. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed my reaction and review to this third episode of Solo Leveling. If you did, of course, you can check out the full-length versions over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. You can also, um, you know, request me to react to your favorite shows over there. But for now, I want to thank you all a lot for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you back in the next episode.